Kabuchiko story, an emotional tale about the relationship between a poor village girl and a boy from a noble family. Can the loving ones from different social stratas find happiness in their lives? So right off the bat, we're greeted by a language selection screen. Obviously, I'm going to pick English because I don't know Russian. So this story takes place during the Blood Age, which was started 10 years ago by a war between wizards and inquisitors and much of the Empire is still recovering from this event. We begin in Kabuchiko, where we are greeted by a girl named Kageru. She talks about wanting to go home, but at this point in time doesn't know where her family is, as they moved after the effects of the war. Now she lives at the Pleasure House, and is currently studying to become a courtesan. As she enters her room, she's greeted by a young man named Minoru, which, as it turns out, ten years ago, while she was gathering ingredients for her mother, actually found him lost in the forest and brought him back to the village. After she did, he instantly fell in love with her. So for a while, the two go back and forth about, hey, I remember you, and all that jazz. Now the young man, Minoru, is currently training to become a warrior when he tells his father about Hanoko, aka Kageru, and how he found her again. And his father tells him he can't love her because she is a commoner and he is of a higher estate. Of course, Minoru goes out of his way to schedule a secret date with Hanoko with the help of a friend a goofy wizard named Robert. So Minoru gathers a bunch of things like snacks, flowers, and even a bard for his date. Fancy. And that night, the two meet secretly on the hillside. Everything seems to be going perfect until Minoru's father's soldiers finds him and Hanoko there. They bring him back to the palace and his father is not happy. But Minoru isn't having any of this and decides to run away from home and find Hanoko again. He finds her again and the two make a bolt out of town. They hide in an abandoned building that night, but unfortunately get caught in the end. Hanoko is taken back into the village and Minoru's fate remains unknown. Or does it? So that's the tale of Kabukucho's story. Of course, there is an ending to this game, but I would hate to spoil it for everyone. There is a link to the Steam page in the description below. So let's start with pros. One thing I love about this game is the graphics. Even when I opened the menu, I immediately fell in love with the look of this game. The music is also pretty good too along with a pretty solid and enjoyable story in my opinion. A lot of you can probably already tell, but yes, this is an RPG Maker game, and I think they definitely stuck it out with this one. You can collect items, you can buy from marketplaces, and there's even a stealth mission where you have to sneak past guards, which was quite challenging. Now for the cons. Like I mentioned in the beginning, the game supports two languages. Russian and English. Unfortunately, however, the English isn't translated the greatest, and there are countless lines of dialogue that I had to pause and read over a couple times before I understood what they were trying to say. Overall though, I think it's a solid and relaxing RPG, and I think they did a pretty good job with it. So as a final review, I'd give this game a 3 out of 4 stars. If the translation was a bit more polished, I definitely would have given this one a better rating. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next $1 gaming video.